that for it, all right? So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, this first comedian coming to the stage, he wasn't booked on the show. He called me up and was like, yo, see, I'm in town, I'd like to come do a set. And this comedian is one of my comedy big brothers in the game. I've been knowing him as long as I've been knowing my wife, who I've been knowing for 10 years. I've been knowing this guy for like 15 years, man. So it's always a pleasure to watch him perform. So y'all know what to do. Go ahead and throw them hands in the air with that confidence. Start slapping those hands together like they don't like each other. And make some noise for Tommy T-Ray Bergeron! is what I do. <laughs> and give it up for the multi-talented Corey Mack. <laughs> Bring this comedy here. That's mine. I'll take All right, hold on. Get, all right. I'm gonna put mine there. The What's up, Mandeville? <laughs> what is up, Mandeville? <laughs> Man Mandeville, though, Indian word, right, means white flight. <laughs> Or a toll bridge, or <laughs> police. I don't know. I don't speak Indian. I've never even been to Asia. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, um, did y'all have a lot of trouble with people rushing the stage and shit? Got some brass knuckles here? Don't try no shit. Don't start no shit. Won't be no shit. I think that's how that works. Right. Thank y'all for coming out tonight. How many of y'all stopped at Walmart to get your bone? I don't know. I had to go to Walmart the other night because I needed a box fan for my shed. Have you been there? After 9 o'clock, 47 aisles, one open. One open. Can you bitch? No, you can't bitch. They don't care. They don't even have customer service anymore. They have self-service. What the fuck is that? The woman told me, oh, you don't like it? You can check yourself out. You can check yourself out. I said, Phew. I didn't even fill out an application. I can't work this shit. She said, oh, I'm explaining to you, it's easy. Look, you got a little code right here. You got a red light, boop, scan it. Put it in the bag, boop, scan it. Put it in the bag, go ahead. Scan, that's right, that's right. Put it in, I gotta take this shit, yeah. Yeah, you know I'm at work, girl. I'm helping this motherfucker check out. Yeah. Put it in the bag. Yeah, girl, no, I ain't been watching the news. You're not gonna pay bills and shit. What? They putting children in cages? What the fuck? Well, you know some of these kids wild as a motherfucker, girl. My grandma had my cousin in the cave for seven years. Yeah, put it in the bag. Scan it. Yeah, girl, we got some of them cages on aisle 17. You know I get a discount, right? Put it in the bag. You gotta put it in the bag. You'll fuck up the weight. <laughs> You know if you fuck up the weight, the whole thing sees it up. You gotta call the damn night manager. <laughs> night manager, he has a bitch who worked at Walmart for 18 years. Don't nobody fucking recognize or can identify. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh Lord, girl, we gotta call the night manager. Where is she at? I don't know, she work at night. <laughs> bitch, it's night. I know, but she come in at night. <laughs> and I ain't seen her. <laughs> hey, is she outside smoking? I don't know, I ain't never seen her. This bitch should work as a spy for the government, am I right? <laughs> At the end of the night, I put my box fan in the fucking car, and I know because it doesn't fit in the bag, I'm gonna need a receipt, right? Because apparently, if you can fit it in the bag, there ain't no way you stole it at a Walmart. <laughs> they don't need to see your receipt. You go to Sam's, they check your receipt every time. Why? No fucking bags. <laughs> right? You ever think they're just paying somebody to draw a damn highlighter line on your fucking paper when you walk out of Sam? Like, the more items you got, the harder he looks like. All right. Bitch, you can't count that fast. What the fucking wrong with you? I got three buggies. So I had my fucking receipt out, my box fan, little old lady at the door. They can't have a cashier, but they got this old bitch sitting there. And she, I go to get my receipt, and this is what she says. You okay, babe? <laughs> and I said, damn. This is where the white privilege is at the fucking Walmart to check out? This is some bullshit. I've been looking. All the time my dad was kicking my ass. We was eating beanie wieners and shit. And it's here at the fucking Walmart. So I went 
coming back in store three more than box fans. You know my life, bitch. It's hot as hell, am I right, bike riders? Holy shit. Look, she got your mini, what are you, your mini titties. Your mini titties, that's nice. Got two fish living under each titty. Hot as fuck. You know what? You know it's gonna be hot because we had that cold ass winter, right? It snowed in the south and shit. Birds that were flying south got snowing. What the fuck? We confused. Where do we go? We're already south. We going to the Gulf. We going? What we going? Hover? I don't get when it snowed where I live in Mississippi in South Mississippi. It snowed. I call my friend who's one of them tree hugging bitches. Y'all know what I'm talking about? One of them hippie ass, stupid. You know? I said, oh, it's. Snowing in Mississippi, snowing down south. Guess what it is? Must be that global warming you've been talking about. That global warming. <laughs> you dumb bitch. Not funny, huh? Where at Mississippi? Tyler Town. Why? You know people there? You from the coast? No, that's the real part where there's education and oil money and casinos. I live in the part where it's Dry County and there's meth and sadness. <laughs> I gotta drive 10 miles to get a buzz. What the fuck? I know, but I appreciate the conversation. But no, I call her. She got all upset though. She's like, you don't even know what you're talking about anymore. It's not global warming. It's global climate change. The weather gets hot because you are out there running your air conditioner, your combustion engine, and run that. All that changes the earth so it gets hot, and then it gets cold, and then it gets hot, and then it gets cold, and then it gets hot. I said, bitch, that's seasons. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop running my air conditioning. It's summer. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't need to laugh. She's dead now. That's fucked up. Pancreatic cancer. You just laughed at pancreatic cancer. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's a one percent chance. And you laughing. You are on drugs. Corbin's right. I need to check him out. Fuck that. <laughs> The weatherman is a fucked up job, am I right? Do y'all think any kid with an Xbox can do the weather? All you need is the internet to do the weather? You see the guy on TV talking about, today there's a 50% chance of rain. I'm like, well, I'm not a mathematician. But if there's a 50% chance of rain, isn't there a 50% chance of no rain? That's like saying, everybody take an umbrella. Or don't, fuck it. Okay. <laughs> Anybody here have sinus allergies? Wake up with sinus allergies? I wake up every day. Like this morning, I had one of these, one of these like uh, itchy part in my inner ear that you can only get with a paper clip that reaches your brain, that kind of shit. You know what I'm talking about? Hell yes, yeah, pain that. You know what causes that? Pollen. You know what pollen is? Anybody know what pollen is? It's the male gamete for the plants. I took biology. Which basically means it's plant sperm. Plant sperm wrapped in a hard candy shell, floating around, right? And when it gets to like the other plants, like the flowers or the cones.